bought the biggest house on the biggest lot in the entire neighborhood on top of a hill. We've got the views of the water, Puget Sound, and downtown Everett. And uh, let's check it out. Hey, my name is Ahmad. I am from the Seattle area. I want to give a big shout out to all the hexagons that are out there onboarding, especially you guys that are on tour and making a huge difference. And uh, just keep it up. Anybody that is onboarding anybody else, just know that you're actually changing someone else's life and you should feel really good about that. So this transaction is $2 million house. Um, last year, we were shopping around the $500,000 range, just kind of scrapping to see what we can do to make it work for him to buy a house. My brother's always rented an apartment, and so buying a house is something he really wanted to do, and Hex was something that allowed him to free his life and buy a house that was safe and, and comfortable for him and his family. So that's definitely a game changer, and that's where I bought in. I said, Hex can change lives, and I see it right in front of me, and we're experiencing it here today, and it's, it's an amazing feeling to be a part of. Hello and welcome back to freedomtv.info where we talk about your crypto and freedom from the man. Today I got a special guest. It's Valiant Bran and he was one of our uh, Seattle hosts for the 5555 uh, Hex Tour and I'm going to bring him on pretty soon. But just before we bring him on, I just wanted to um, talk about a little bit about how and when and about the calendar and the tour. Uh, obviously, we want to talk about the Hex Conference is going to come coming up. Definitely go to hexconference.com to get your tickets to the hexbo.online. And of course, the one in Vegas, the Hexbo Conference Vegas. So now if you want to know on the tour where to find all the dates, just go to freedomtv.info and you can also see our calendar here and you just click here on these and you can RSVP. It is free to go. All we need is like, if you please can RSVP just so we know how many seats, uh, you know, chairs to put out and um, make sure that uh, we have the right count for logistics reasons. Right. And then of course we have this here. Uh, this is the most updated times and dates and addresses. And down here, this would be uh, updated from time to time. So just bear with us. However, the, the most recent uh, would be on the calendar itself. Okay, guys? Hello, welcome. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Tony? Uh, doing great, man. Thank you for, uh, for having me on. I, uh, I really appreciate this opportunity and all of the hard work that yourself and, and everyone else has put into uh, spreading the you know, outbound messaging and the adoption of Hex and Pulse. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're here just to, for the community, by the community, for the people, right? That's why we're prognosticating freedom to everyone through Hex and Pulse. So I see you have your Pulse uh, shirt on. I, are you excited or what? Totally, man. Yeah, you know, excited is an understatement. I mean, we saw what happened with, uh, the first product that Richard had created, and he never intended on making a second cryptocurrency, but did so due to the uh, circumstances uh, of the gas fees and of those end stake fees. And anyways, yeah, anything that Richard Hart has done that I've seen in the past, I've been following him for over four years, is very uh, well thought out. And the actual design ends up being much better than I could have ever imagined. Awesome. So tell me, can I call you Brandon? Because I know you're yeah, Brandon. Call me whatever. Yep, yep, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon totally. So uh, <laughs> I know I want to give you a really, uh, um, from a deepest of our hearts, that thank you for hosting the Seattle Stop. And we had the workshop and also the meetup. So the day before, right, was the meetup. So just kind of I want to get you, because I wasn't there, so I want to get mm -hmm. tell our audience a little bit, what was your experience? Totally. So, you know, as far as the location and as far as the meetup goes in general, it was the same place as the, the workshop was. Uh, it was really convenient because where I'm staying here in Seattle, it was only maybe like a 10 minute walk away. Uh, so I was able to uh, get there a little bit early. Uh, as you mentioned, the meetup was the day before. And yeah, we had all met up at the, the Marriott. And that was the first time I had seen all of the vehicles, right? 
And uh, it was a really cool opportunity. I had seen Alan, a black hexagon, uh, the whole camera crew and everyone else. And uh, a lot of people showed up for the meetup. Uh, there was many people that I didn't know were, were hexagons or were into crypto in the Seattle area that I was able to meet new people, you know, build new friendships. And then with the meetup itself, they, uh, they had asked us to shoot a music video. We went up to a parking garage here in Seattle and, you know, kind of had some different footage and shots for, you know, what'll be like a future music video. But everything about it was great. The, uh, the hexagons, if uh, most people have just seen them online, meeting them in person is a much better uh, surreal experience. Nice. So uh, the music video, let's talk about that. Did you, I mean, what's that about? Who, who's putting that on? Totally. So yeah, I believe it was Black Hexakin that was doing it. Uh, once again, we had we had driven we had driven to a uh, parking garage here in Seattle. Uh, we went to the very top of the garage where you know it was clear you could see all the other buildings, and then they had parked the steak wrap car and the uh, the Audi R8 itself, the hex wrapped car, and we had kind of just you know tried to get some footage like dancing and kind of just hanging out uh, in in front of the vehicles themselves and. It was a it was a really cool experience and really good time, uh, you know, a what? experience you danced, to a. You danced too. <laughs> well, let's just say I I, I definitely did. Uh, I could I could use a you know maybe some some lessons from Richard Hart or someone else on on some some new moves, you know. But uh, but yeah, I did a little you know groovy groovy dancing and kind of you know good vibes and whatnot. And so yeah, I did that in front of the camera. But yeah, for the most part, everyone kind of had their opportunity. To uh, to have like a, a close up shot in front of the camera, so I know Black Hexkin, uh, him and his kids were kind of uh, dancing to one of the songs he had made, and then they kind of panned out, and everyone could you know have their opportunity in front of the camera and do a little you know solo dance type of deal. So, so you it was really fun. Shimmy. You did your little shimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that, you know. <laughs> and uh, it exactly, it's uh, it's all fun and games, you know. It's uh, it's really cool because these are opportunities. These are people that I wouldn't have had the pleasure of meeting and experiencing had it not been for not only you guys that are all hosting it and the whole team, but also being in Hex. Wonderful. Wonderful. So um, now how did you um, start it in Hex? Let me, let me, let's yeah, totally. give me a little bit of background. Who's Mr. Brandon? Totally. So uh, I had found out about Richard Hart actually in 2017 and I found out about him on a online forum and they were talking about Richard Hart. Uh, I had heard the name before and so had heard both, uh, both varying opinions, right? For, uh, you know, pro Richard Hart and kind of against and for someone that was just getting into crypto and especially just hearing about the people online that were presenting information, I wanted to know a little bit more. So in 2017, it was around March, 2017, I uh, looked at his name, found his YouTube channel, and actually like the first videos that I saw of him were the self-help videos, was the uh, the photo with, with him in the top hat. And, and I said, you know, this guy really knows what he's doing and he knows how to get someone's attention, whether whatever opinions they have of it or not is, is not really relevant. The thing that is relevant is the information he was presenting. He, uh, he wants to see people grow and succeed and when I had started following his live streams, I realized that not only is he a crypto OG, been in Bitcoin since 2011, but this guy is like a like a mentor that I had been looking for uh, years prior, and I'd finally found. Nice. So, um, have you? So, when did you get into Hex? Like, when did oh, you? Yeah, sorry, sorry. So, so I got in on day one. Uh, day one. I've been following it. Yeah, I've been following it every single day uh, leading up to it because. For those that don't know, uh, software sometimes can take a little bit longer than expected. And so we had thought that the Hex, you know, smart contract itself was going to get launched in about four weeks and it ended up being like roughly like eight or nine months later of, okay. of that four more weeks narrative that it finally got launched, which was December 2nd, 2019. Uh, those that had uh, Bitcoin in their possession, they were able to free claim their Hex. I had had, you know, a Bitcoin at the time was able to free claim it and then had taken some of Richard's, uh, you know, information on what might be best to get the hex and sold the Bitcoin for Ethereum and then proceeded to enter into the 351 day phase 
of the adoption amplifier. And uh, it was a really cool opportunity. There was a referral program. You could do like a self-referral and get like a 32% bonus on the principle that you had put in. And just everything about it was uniquely designed. And uh, I'd, I'd learned that Richard was the person that I wanted to listen to and maybe take some of his advice and opinions on how to, you know, get the most hacks. Nice. What made you decide, because I know you have your own channel, right? Mm -hmm. What made you decide and when did you decide to be a streamer? Yeah, so I know it was over a year ago. Uh, so I had seen Hexologist, I had seen RG3, and at the time I didn't even know they existed. I thought it was just Richard Hart, and I had seen Hexologist, him streaming daily, and I said, man, this guy is really cool. This guy seems like someone that I could follow and was very funny, you know, had a very energetic and bright personality. And then it was maybe RG3... I don't know, a couple of months after Hexologist started streaming that they did the uh, the discourse syndicate where on Friday they would allow anyone that wanted to come into the show and introduce themselves uh, to be able to. So that's kind of how I first started off was I had joined RG3 stream, uh, introduced myself for the first time. And once again, similar to Richard, it was a, uh, a like-minded group of people that, uh, you know, some were older that I can learn from and some have clearly had uh, very successful experiences that I wanted to almost like Richard, you know, kind of treat as like a mentor. So I had been uh, streaming with RG3 weekly for many months. And then I finally realized, hey, maybe I can do this as well. Because I had done YouTube videos in the past, but never done, done live streaming. So that was kind of my opportunity a little over a year ago. I don't know the exact time, but it's maybe been 16 months, 17 months, something like that. Mm -hmm. So when you, so you, pretty much what I'm hearing is that you wanted to kind of give back to the community and that's why you were streaming, right? To disseminate education, I would say. Totally. Uh, yeah, and, that's, that's exactly why. I mean, I, I really believe that everyone has uh, something of value to provide. And even if it's uh, similar information that's been presented before, uh, everyone has a, a style or a way of learning that they can, you know, that they can learn a little bit better than maybe someone else. So like the more the merrier when it comes to the people that are streaming, uh, everyone once again has their own experiences, their own opinions. And for me, I wanted to just, as you mentioned, give back, help people out and kind of just show people some of the experiences from someone that's been there uh, very early on. And mm -hmm. the, the other thing I'll say real quick is uh, I really like doing it. So currently I just stream, uh, you know, once a week on Sundays, but I get just as much out of it as the people that are watching uh, it as well. So it's a, it's a win-win situation and really happy to, uh, to be doing it. Awesome. That's one of the reasons why I love the Hex community because they really uh, want to, I mean, they're pretty much unconditionally giving, right, all the time. And uh, I met you in Vegas, by the way. And uh, I mean, right away, what was your experience of the Vegas meetup? It was, it was amazing. It was actually my first time ever going to Las Vegas. So that was really cool that it was uh, with a whole bunch of hexagons and with a whole bunch of people that I had wanted to meet. Uh, I, I really liked it a lot. So I know yourself, Maddie, and so many other people had put in a lot of the time to organize and make sure that it went well. And once again, similar to the Seattle meetup that we had had, there was just so many people that uh, you know, you got to meet face to face and exchange contact information and just see how legitimate the community was in person, because some people might have a you know, perception of, of how someone is online, but they might not be that way in person. And so just like Wales only has said, the actual community experience allowed me to realize that, hey, everyone is who they uh, present themselves to be. And just overall, I had a lot of good conversations and I wasn't even able to meet everyone. There were so many people there that I'd wanted to meet everyone. And it goes to show you how, uh, how big it's actually getting. Nice. Nice. I mean, I, I remember I was kind of worried you, you, we, we were communicating way before the meetup and, and you were saying, Oh, this is my first time in Vegas. And I'm like, uh Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know if he's going to get in trouble. So you know, I, I kind of put my my uh, big brother hat on and I was like, hey, come with us over here. So, oh. <laughs> but uh, you definitely had a good time, right? Oh, totally. And, yeah. And yeah. 
And that, that was one thing that I, I had uh, come to in mind before going to Vegas was that, hey, the reason I'm here is to meet other like-minded people. And even though Vegas is notorious for obviously excess and, and partying and things like that, uh, I wanted to dial it down very significantly so I could uh, not make a fool of myself, not get in trouble, and also so I could maximize the experience with all of you. So I appreciate you, uh, you know, kind of coming in there as a friend. And as someone that's got three older brothers, it's always nice when people kind of look out for you in that way. So let me ask you, sir, are you retired now? Yeah, you- yeah, no. So maybe, maybe as of uh, June this year, about maybe four months ago, I had uh, put in my two weeks in letter of resignation at my job. Uh, I was working mm-hmm. for a company in Bellevue, Washington, and had been in crypto uh, since I had started that comp- since I had started with that company. And in the actual interview process itself, they said, where do you see yourself in five years? And a lot of them laughed when I said, like, retired. And uh, it turns out that I ended up manifesting my own destiny in, in under those five years. So that was pretty wow. cool to think about in hindsight. <laughs> so when you put your two weeks, he goes, I did it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's cool. Like you mentioned, it was, it was something that I had thought out very, you know, I'd put a lot of thought into it because obviously it's a very big decision to make, especially at such a young age of, of 24. But there was a there was a point in Hex with some of the interest and some of the things going on where I just realized that a lot of the time might be better spent elsewhere. And not to mention when when you kind of get to a certain point where you have a staking ladder, you have consistency of income, you have other sources of income. I realized that, okay, maybe now I can do what some of the other hexagons had done, which was retiring. And I felt comfortable that once I made the decision, I wasn't going to have to go back to work. So I had thought about it for many months, which I think is important for any big financial decision. And when I just decided which day I wanted it to be, it was very deliberate and very planned out and honestly exciting to uh, be able to announce. So let so uh, obviously you got your ticket for the conference, right? You're ready totally. For that? Yeah, for Vegas. Yeah, it's. I'm 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 so ready, and uh, now I kind of know what to expect, having been there before, and I'm really excited. I mean, last year, or this year uh, in June, it was a really good time to meet everyone, but I'm really looking forward to the 2020 or sorry 2022 meetup in March. I think the weather might be a little bit better, and I think the actual experience and the conference and the event is going to be uh, extremely bigger than expected uh, yeah. a lot more people attending and yeah i'm looking forward to it got the yeah, ticket I'm, early I'm, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to to um you know especially now that pulse is going to come out and you know it's not only the hex conference it's also for the pulse uh community to come out and meet in vegas so that's in itself is huge and then also I mean, I'm looking, I have my uh, fans, like I'm, I'm Twitter pated, right? With some people, streamers, especially like you, I would definitely love to hang out again. And so um, who, who, who are you like looking forward to seeing? As no, a so I'm looking, or, or, yeah, totally. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to seeing everyone, but the, the people that I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the most when it comes to presenting it's uh, it's the people that were you know there at the meetup in Seattle, right? It was uh, Alan and Patrick that actually did the tour, and the reason that I say that is because Seattle was one of the uh, more early stops, right? There was there is many more stops after Seattle that end up leading to Vegas, but I want to see what their experience is if they can present on how all of the other meetups were, because you have so many different unique areas and places that they have never been to that they've wanted to see. And now they have different hexagons uh, in those areas. So I want to hear what their experience was like from the start to finish on the whole trip itself, because it's something that's never been done in hex history. And they're always uh, innovating ways to help and give back. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So um, did you uh, go into the Pulse sacrifice? Totally. Totally. Yeah. I I had learned from... uh, following Richard Hart since 2017, that this guy not only talks the talk, but he walks the walk. And I had realized that, okay, anything that he builds 
is going to be successful, once again, very well thought out, and it's going to provide utility. And so when I had gotten into Hex, I had had a certain amount of principal that I had put in at that time and saw very good returns. But with Pulse, I got really excited because a lot of those that were in Hex had a more principal that they could now put into the Pulse sacrifice. So I know with the Pulse sacrifice, I think it was like 17 days was the initial, the main phase. And yeah, it kind of averaged in on some of the, the first five days and was really happy about it. I mean, once again, if we see what uh, Hex has done and what it was designed to do, and we know that Pulse Chain has a lot more game theory and it's beating Ethereum 2.0 to some of the things that it's wanted to, then I can only imagine what the gains and what the returns can be. But I'm excited for the network because I remember day one Hex, day two Hex, the fees themselves were literally pennies to send, whether it was ending a stake or starting a stake. And now they've gotten so high that we had to create a new blockchain, which is Pulse Chain. Right. So tell me, so what do you, what, just your opinion, when do you think uh, Pulse is going to drop? You know, that's, that's a really good question. Uh, I don't have any specific, yeah, right. Specific date. I mean, Here's the thing. I, I think it. I think it could definitely happen in December. I know a lot of people are thinking that all of this extra work needs to be done, and obviously, you don't want to start something. Uh, you don't want to launch something until it's ready. But Richard has talked about that he doesn't want to keep building all of these things uh, before the launch. He wants to launch it kind of like as a minimum viable product, and then build all of their ambitious goals that they have on it later. So, I mean. I'm still shooting for the end of the year. I mean, probably sometime in December, I could think, uh, just depending on how how long it takes for them to fix those kinks in the system. But I'm still shooting for the end of the year, maybe sometime in December would be my closest guess. I think it's going to be December 2nd because that's Hex's birthday, <laughs> right? So why not, right? Have the same birthdays. <laughs> hey, you know, it's uh, there's, there's something to that, right? I mean, I know Richard... Uh, he had mentioned uh, previously on Twitter that they were going to have a big meetup on December 2nd. And obviously, as you say, it's it'll be Hex's uh, second birthday. So, I mean, if there was an event to do the actual Pulse Chain launch, that would be really exciting to see. I mean, obviously, none of us know whether that's going to happen or not. But if there, once again, was a time that they could launch it and they were all prepared, I could see that being a wonderful day to do the launch. That'd be wonderful. awesome. Awesome. So, you know, just we're just going to wrap this up. And uh, any other uh, shout outs that you want to, uh, you know, out there to your peeps and anything? Of course, you want to follow uh, Valiant Brand and his YouTube channel. He's got a lot of good information. I've been following him for a while. And yes, he has a lot of good information. So, guys, I mean, it's it's Brandon. <laughs> hey, thanks, Tony. Uh, so, I mean, no specific shout outs. The, the only thing I'll say is, is what uh, a bit is what Alan has said a lot that a lot of us hexagons, we all share the same goals and, and same commonalities of, of being in hex or, you know, for the people that are in pulse being in pulse, but we should all be supporting each other, um, you know, liking, retweeting, commenting on the social media posts for those that are posting and for those that do provide videos and, and streams. And I mean, I would say shout out to people like yourself, people like uh, Alan and Patrick, like everyone that's doing their part to get the message out there. They're doing it with their own time. They're doing it with their own money, their funds. And it really goes to show you that similar to Richard, right? It's not just talking the talk, but now it's walking the walk. And it's really commendable because other people, you know, you guys have families, you guys have personal lives, but you're choosing to spend some of that time uh, promoting something that you're a fan of, that you are involved in a community. And I think that this is just the beginning with ventures uh, similar to the world, the world tour. Nice. So, I mean, I, I'm, I hope we did um, get Richard Hart inspired because once we started our tour, he started touring Europe. So I was excited about that. I mean, how, how great is that to meet Richard Hart in his element? And, uh, you know, so fortunate that Crypto Spavo channel, if you want to go see Crypto Spavo's channel, 
uh, on YouTube and get right there front and center with Richard Hart. So that was great. And so, um, yeah. So I just wanted to thank you very much, Brandon, for, for hosting our, our Seattle event. And, uh, you know, we all love you, my friend, and, uh, we'll see you definitely in Vegas, right? Heck yeah. I'll be there looking forward to meeting everyone, you know, yourself and your brother and all of the freedom TV that info crew. And uh, once again, it's going to be another historical moment. You mentioned Richard traveling uh, around Europe as well. And I think you guys did have a big part and big impact in that. So how cool is it, as you say, not only to see him in his element, but to continue just giving back and spending time with the community that, uh, that cherish what he's done. Awesome. And I'm looking forward. I'm hoping he comes to our conference. Uh, we Me don't too. have a, uh, uh, definite date because you know there's travel and he's you know there's this whole big c thing going on so we'll see what happens so uh i i would cherish the day that we can see him live on on the stage again so anyways guys well thank you very much brandon we're gonna go ahead and do the outro and definitely see you on the flip side <laughs>